Hello everyone. I want to apologize right off for the lighting in this video. You're going to see a lot of really terrible angles, but there's good information all the way through. Welcome to Washboard 102, where we talk all about thimbles and how to attach them. And thanks. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hello. Welcome to this part of the lesson where we talk about thimbles. So this is the type of thimble that I use. It's by Singer. Um, it looks like this. It clasps around and it has like a rubber uh, thing on the inside. These are, these are a little over a dollar, dollar and a half, something like that, and which is kind of pricey. But what I do basically is I duct tape them to my finger. <laughs> this was not meant to be a long-term solution it's just what i have done and if i improve on it i'll let you guys know so what i do first is you can see that these things here it's like a bendable metal it's like a tin and it will dig into your skin so the first thing that i do is i wrap the ends of them with duct tape and i have all kinds of duct tape already stripped off i have big pieces and um, smaller pieces and I just kind of rip off. I make sure I have at least four big pieces because uh, they'll be the main attachers to your finger and I'll show you that here in a second. And then uh, just smaller pieces. So three sizes, four big ones, a bunch of medium ones. The big ones are maybe like a little over an inch wide. Uh, the rest of them are about an inch or a little bit less. And then the tiny ones are for wrapping around your thimble and but the other size is like half an inch and those are more to help secure it around your knuckles so that it doesn't f fall forward as you're playing i'm going to explain to you and let you watch how i wrap the ends of these and put them on my fingers and i only use four thimbles i use them on these fingers so your middle and your ring finger is are the two those, those are the thimbles that I use. So I use four every time I play. So I take a really, really tiny strip that's maybe just slightly larger than the tip of these. And I place it first on the inside. I just kind of press it there. And then I fold it over. It's okay if it comes off a little bit. You just kind of want to have it placed there. And then I'll snip off this end. I'll snip off the top, so I'll do that. It's not an exact science, you know, just kind of snip it off and then um, I'll wrap it around to hold it down. And so I usually start underneath and if it's not sticking very well, then I'll leave a little lip so that it can, like that, so that I can fold it up and over like that. And then I take this side and I fold it over. I usually don't have to leave much lip at all, but that one I have to leave a big one. And that's end up what what that's what it looks like there. We're gonna do it again to this side. Press that right there. Fold it over. Chop the top off. I chop it off like before it gets to the body of the like anywhere between there and the body of the the body of the thimble. It's a timely process. Sometimes this would take me like an hour, an hour and a half from start to finish. Hey guys, this is Editing Chill Baby and I just wanted to reiterate because I'm pointing out all of this like meticulous, all these processes you have to go through in order to keep the thimbles on to play. I want to state that when I first started practicing um, I did not have to duct tape my thimbles on that hard, like that securely. What I'm about to show you is like what I developed after three tours to make sure that these guys don't slip off my fingers. Even though I had to go through all this and I still have to like, like a ballerina has to break her shoes. I have to sit down and wrap my thimbles or if I don't, that's why I try to like keep them afterwards. So I don't have to rewrap them. I try to put them somewhere safe or in a container because they will kind of hold their shape. But I just love the way I'm able to play with this. And I was never able to find um, gloves that could fit my hands uh, and maybe it's just the, the problem of the glove industry. They always make really wonky fingers. <laughs> so if you have small hands at all, 
trying to glue or get like hot glue those things on the ends hasn't ever really worked for me and also I find that I haven't found a glove that holds them on because some people try to put them on the end of, of gloves while they play and um, anyway this is just the most secure way I can think of I have ideas about trying to improve this I uh, but it'll just be some time because it means like fashioning a sleeve an actual reusable sleeve so um, but like I said I'll update you guys on this and I am willing to go through this because I'm able to play the style that I play which hopefully uh, is what you guys are interested in figuring out for yourselves if you can play with a little more freedom on the washboard than like the traditional like poke abouts you know if you can uh, it really allows you to do a lot more on, on the board, having your thimbles secured to your fingers in this way. Um, so anyway, okay, that's it. Thanks. Anyway, so this is what they look like. If you don't have to play so hard against your board, these might last a few shows for you. It just depends. When we were headlining, uh, so we played on stage for at least an hour, then I, I mean, these would last one show. And that's it. But when we were opening and we were on stage for like 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes, um, I could use them. I could go two shows with these. So that's just an idea. Again, it all depends on how how hard you play against the board. And it's just some people just are gentler when they do things. Some people are harder and that, that matters, too. That's another thing with these thimbles uh, compared to the normal type sewing thimble that you see people use. These are a weaker metal it is a tin it is a weaker metal and so they don't last as long because these will just these will just smash i don't want to get up and get an old one these will just eventually smash and the grates will all go away and then they'll just deform eventually and then you, they won't stay on your finger and that you won't be able to play at all because every time you hit the board the whole thing just collapses <laughs> this is the method that i use <laughs> when i'm not playing shows these last a while so the reason why I'm going through all this is because it is essential that you have a thimble that can stay on your finger for the style of washboard that I play, um, whether you're going up or down and side to side. I like to be able to maneuver all across the board in any way that I choose and put pressure on it any way that I choose. And I don't want to worry about my thimble falling off where I can't wear the other ones because I guess my my fingertips are too flat like they're not they don't fill and they don't stay on my fingers at all <laughs> um, I didn't like their shape because they're smaller on the top and they fatten as you go down your finger it just didn't jive with the way I played on the board because I would have to like really angle it to get a flat against the board and then they have those huge ridges and I just wasn't it was I tried and I, I was not into it but these allow for a lot more free maneuvering all over the board at any direction and um, without flying off if you if you duct tape them to your fingers okay <laughs> feel free to adapt this so I've done all all four for being a manufactured product they each kind of have a different size of their own and so I kind of just fit them on and I put the ones with the the smallest boat the smallest body on my ring fingers which are tinier and I put the fatter ones on my middle fingers I just kind of see which one ones fit better where naturally. And then I'll go ahead and press down the things around my finger. It's nice when they touch. Like this one presses down and it's not flat. Like there's a little, I can feel this gripping the sides of my finger. It's okay that there's that little hole there. And I like that they touch because really it makes for a more secure um, and stable piece all around when there's when they don't touch they actually will start to squash and flatten a little bit sooner uh, but really it's just a matter of the kind of thim the thimble you get so I'll do this one these ones have really long this one I'm gonna have to um, fold one under and one over to get a good to get any a grip and you don't want to press them too much you just want enough grip so that it's on your finger it's not going to come off and the duct tape also helps too with that like they're sticking down they're very comfortable sometimes you have to press them in a little bit and you can press them inwards too if you need to you do not want it to feel like it's cutting off blood flow that is an issue <laughs> do not let them feel like that okay 
So this one's not meeting completely, but that's totally fine. It's fat finger, my fat middle knuckle. Um, we're just going to go with it. All right, so now we take, you want to have at least four really fat pieces that are a little over an inch. I don't know how else to, kind of a little longer even than the thing. What these are for is, is to attach to the bottom of the thimble, and they're going to wrap around and stick onto the little legs of the thimble. I like to keep it just over the lip here. It's like a little bit above the lip is where I'll place it. Um, maybe about right there so that the lip actually like gives it something to keep it from gliding off and I just find that that sticks better. So maybe like right there because you also want it to line up so that it can go on to the arms. So let's place that there like that. Sometimes at the angle so that's that's pretty good. It's a little tall, a little tall in the thimble, but because um, I angled that one up too far, but you know, you'll be able to mold it to your own fingers and find what works for you. Okay, so we'll do that again. Another nice fat one here. We're going to do it to the other. I'm going to place it just along the lower lip, right in the middle of the tape. It's hard to do showing the camera. And turned out pretty well so it's, that's a good that's a good ridge right there and that one again I angled up a little too far okay so this is the first this is the best way I found to tape them on like I said you want four of these big ones one for each finger and then I'm just gonna put it right in the middle just a little bit above the lip wrap it around to the arms All right, I haven't taped them in a while, and so like this is still a little high. It'll rub down on its own as you play, if it's in the way on its own. Um, it just might take a few minutes. So I'm not really that worried about it. Okay, we're gonna place this kind of in the middle. And there we go. Okay, so then we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. I kind of have some leftover fattish ones. And this one's going to go right over the arms. So this is going to secure um, it all the way around. So it's going to go right on there. Just going to follow it around the arms. And you don't necessarily want it to go up into any more you don't want it to cover any more of the thimble so I just kind of make sure it stays down even though it wrinkles a bit that's fine like I said it's not an exact science so you just kind of press it down like that so we got one and this isn't pressed down yet for a reason don't worry about that we're just we're forming an, an under form or a foundation upon which to secure it the duct tape to your fingers <laughs> just stick with me it'll all make sense My dog is scratching at the door. Last one. Okay, see that one kind of wrapped around a little bit. You can see it above the lower edge there. And that's totally okay. That's fine, because this is where we're mainly gonna play. All right, let me get my dog. Okay, so now we're, we're gonna continue to make the sleeves. Don't worry about pressing these right now, the duct tape against your finger, just let it stick where it sticks. It, it's fine. Believe me, you, you're you going to like that you have some room for between the duct tape and your finger. So we're going to take these kind of inch ones that are a little smaller. Start, we're going to go down a layer. We're going to start to create the bottom half of the sleeve. Like this is a complete smooth side of the sleeve. And then here's the part where the duct tape meets. So I always like to start by putting it over that, the, the loose sides of the duct tape. Does that make sense? And then I, if I went on this side, I would go, that we are always keeping those edges down. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna go about right here. This is how it works on my finger. About that far into the tape. And then it goes about that much below my, my knuckle. Just wrap it around, just barely, just, just loosely almost. Just, just place it 
like it's my finger but you don't have to wrap it tight um, I'm saying this because you will need blood flow <laughs> and um, and so like I can feel it sticking to my finger but I just let it I just kind of gently wrapped it all right all right we're gonna do it to this one You're forming a little sleeve forming a sleeve if you do get things down here in the webs of your fingers go ahead and trim that a little bit I don't like it rubbing against I don't like to have a bunch of tape or anything there against in the wedges of my fingers one we'll just do this one so I did pull it when I'm pulling these around I'm pulling them against my knuckle I'm not pulling them against the soft part. That's what I'm using to kind of help guide pushing it against my finger is around the knuckle, the hard part. All right, so the last part of the sleeve is just covering up this part here. So we're just gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna cover this side. I'm just gonna put it about right there. That's how I do it. I just kind of lined it up with the other piece and then I just gently wrap it around just a little bit just so it's secure against against my knuckle there. Just just a little bit of uh, pull on it, you know, not much. So that you still, like, there's still so much room right here. If you play for a while and you're lucky and your hands start to sweat, then um, you can kind of maneuver these and slip them right off. Um, my hands are really dry right now, which is not the greatest because, I mean, it's good for sticking. Duct tape loves to stick to dry skin, but if you get claustrophobic, like, oh my God, I can't get these off, <laughs> you just end up having to cut them off. You just take this and you just, I like to make a slit on either the backs, on the back side. And I just, I just slide this in there and I just make a slit right down the top and then I just take it off. That's in an emergency situation. And then um, if I want to use it again, I can just secure that with another piece of duct tape and close the, the slit that I made. I did have to angle that one in because my fingers do that. They like knuckle and then go small. All right, we're going to use, we're still going to use the fatter ones. Okay, so we're still with the, like the inch ones. We are going to cover the, these fronts here with these ridges, there's only one piece. You're gonna need, because this is gonna give you the most grab and this is where you need the most support, honestly. And so we're just gonna cover, just do another layer. And this one doesn't have to be nearly as high. It can be a little lower, closer to the, the lip there that's created. So I'm just gonna place these, I like to place it right on the front, just like that. See, it's a little lower than the previous piece of duct tape. And these I do kind of pull a little bit. You're, what you're using to pull it against is the thimble, not these, this bottom part. You're going to pull it so that it secures against the arms. You're just reinforcing this part of your sleeve. This is going pretty quickly. The longest part really is just taking off and cutting off pieces of duct tape. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to use the secure pieces, the pieces to secure them. So the first place we're gonna put it is right under the, the thimble, right under the edge, and it's go, gonna go along the back of the, of the thimble. And this is the one that you're going to pull a little bit and you're going to try to secure that sleeve a little bit more against your actual, the actual shape of your finger. Okay, so I placed it right there, a little bit less than halfway across, I'm just below it, just below the thimble, and I'm gonna pull and put pressure down like that. You get me? And we're gonna use another one. And we're gonna use another one to pull around the front. So I'm gonna place it along the side and then pull across. And now it feels 
um, that feels a little tighter around my finger. Again, um, it's not cutting off any blood flow. Uh, this is just to provide, I find it helps to provide against um, some kind of squeeze below this knuckle. And so you're getting like a general shape of your finger. Um, and it just keeps it from flying off. And again, I'm going to do it again below this knuckle, this fatter knuckle too, so that it shapes your finger so that as you're dragging up on the board or whatever, it's not going to just pull the whole sleeve right off. So I'm just going to go along and, well, let me do the bottom one of this one too. So I got, I like these thinner ones along the bottom. I find it's more effective that way. And this one you can really, I like to stick out my fingers really straight and stick out my lower um, knuckle there. And so I'll place it along the side and I really will kind of go and just shape the knuckle and I'll pull it along. This one wraps all the way around. So you can kind of see how it goes out where my knuckle is. You can kind of see how this is a little bit more inward. Now, um, I kept this tape below the knuckle pretty much. So I'm not squeezing on it. I'm just helping it form to the shape of my finger. Again, it's just, it's just been trial and error for me uh, to figure out how to make these in a way where I can still have good blood flow and, and that kind of thing. I would love to find a reusable, renewable way um, to, like, to make sleeves that can maybe have like two straps right here that are like Velcro or something that you can just rip off and on that go below the knuckle here and below a knuckle there, you know, and so that you don't have to do this all the time. <laughs>
that middle knuckle on the underside to keep it like a real, just really solid so that when I press down, it doesn't bend here. That's what you want. So that, um, it gives you a lot of support when you hit the board. How long is this so far? 37 minutes. <laughs> okay, so, so I'm getting these off and I made little slits with scissors, if you can see that along the bottom. And I really just am going to, let's rinse them in water first. Just literally rinsing them under the water. And then I kind of like let the water, because it'll go in the tops here as well. And then I kind of let the water sink in. I'll move my fingers around. I'll kind of twist it a little. Because it's sticking, the stick part is right here for me. It happens around here. I just let it run inside, I let it run into the thimble and along the bottoms. <laughs> I wish it were easier than this. This is what I go through. I might need to cut a little more. Sometimes it just takes a second. Just keep moving your fingers. It just takes a second. You can feel the water working down and it loosening away from your skin. It's a highly high-tech process. And then, there we go. This one loosened. I twisted, it goes right off. And again, if you put lotion on your hands before you do, you tape them on, this might be a little easier. And my hands were severely dry. Um, there we go. So I was twisting, just gently, until letting the water work itself down and then slipped it right off. This one's gonna be, there we go, I can feel it coming off. There we go. <laughs> so again, this is the imperfect way. And then you have these little sleeves. You can keep them, I kept them in the outside pocket of my backpack, which seemed to be pretty safe. Uh, you can keep them in a jar or something like that, something where they won't. Oh, I kept them in a tin as well for a while because that kept them really safe and they didn't get squashed. Um, and then you just slide them back on and you can take a little, you might be able to play with them uh, without re-securing them again, depending on if you're just kind of messing around and stuff. Uh, but if you feel like you need to secure them because you're going to play like a show or play with a band or something like that, you can just take another little piece of duct tape, a thin one, and just kind of re-secure that little slit across your finger after you slide them back on. And usually you can tell, I can always tell what goes where by the shape of them. Like, because I know you can mark them if you'd like uh, somehow like with a Sharpie or something, if that works. But um, I always know because of how much thinner they are, see if I can find a good, and how much taller. So this one is um, my middle finger, one of my middle fingers, and this one, because it's taller than the other two. Let's get them all up here. You can see the which ones are taller and which ones are smaller. And so this one is another ring finger because it's smaller and then I just kind of see which way the angle because my fingers angle and um, you can just slide them right back on that kind of thing all right guys I wouldn't recommend getting them wet if you're gonna play in just a second because uh, they do need to dry <laughs> but what's really cool is after they dry they will become slightly stiffer which is good for you because really you just want a secure sleeve that um, is going to give you a lot of support when you're playing against the washboard. All right, guys. I hope uh, I hope all the information that you need is in this video. And good luck and happy washboarding. Bye.